Battle of the Arts welcomes participants showcasing their talents in diverse forms and in art, including performance arts, literary art, music, dance, crafts, media arts, etc. So just to let you know how talented our celebrity guest judges are, we're going to get Kyle and Blaze up to show you right now. Okay, um, so my name is Kyle Garshore. And I'm Daniel Blay. It's B-L-A-I-S, hence the Blaze. But it's Blay. Two mics, two mics. That makes it easy. Pardon. Every day. C'est toi établi les noms pour chaque pays. Chaque gouvernement doit travailler pour les réaliser. I work for the Office of the Child and Youth Advocate. Let me explain what we do. I think that I can manage it. We promote and protect your rights and interests. We make recommendations to government and give them advice. We ensure children and youth have access to services they need. We ensure children and youth are heard and that adults take heed. So in celebration of the convention, we developed a week to draw attention to the rights of all children that all children hold, be they tall or short, deep or bold. Happy Child Rights Education Week all. Learn your rights and have a ball. To conclude, a large thank you and girl Mousy to everyone who made this event a possibility. Woo, that was awesome. I love that, Jeff. Hmm? All right, so you guys, yeah. Battle of the Arts, just in case you don't know, is a youth-led project which holds cultural diversity and inclusive talent shows such as this. This is the finale. Across the Maritimes. It's about bringing communities together and generating excitement around youth, art, culture, diversity, community engagement, and children and youth <laughs> rights. Our goal is to encourage young people to speak up about child and youth rights while using art show Go to Warsaw, Canada. Battle of the Arts welcomes participants showcasing their talents in diverse forms and art, including performance arts, literary art, music, dance, crafts, media arts, etc. So just to let you know how talented our celebrity guest judges are, we're going to get Kyle and Blaze up to show you right now. Okay, um, so my name is Kyle Garshore. And I'm Daniel Blay. It's B-L-A-I-S, hence the Blaze. But it's Blay. Two mics, two mics. That makes it easy. I don't understand why I can't get it to... We'll just use one mic. <laughs> um, so, uh, we're part of a crew called Hangman Crew. And we've been dancing here in Fredericton for, uh, from Battle of the Stroop Crew into Hangman Crew for about a decade, and representing Fredericton uh, nationwide uh, while we compete in the dance known as hip hop. And the dance of hip hop is b boy b girling, and so that's the main style that we represent. Um, we've made a transition from people who are only competitors to people who compete and now teach as well. And so we've been taking the time to work with uh, different dance studios. Uh, different community groups, even with uh, multicultural association, and in that time period, the, the individuals who've come out come who closer. want more, they want to keep practicing past that one workshop. Uh, yeah, so the um, uh, we've a couple of the dance studios we've been teaching at is Artemis Dance Studio, Extreme Dance Studio, and Dance Fredericton, and uh, a couple of those st uh, the a couple of the students oh. from those different couple of the I'm students from those studios are here tonight. Sideways. Um, we're gonna be oh, we're gonna be showcasing okay. what we've been teaching and and how we've been introducing hip hop to the to the youth. Um, a lot of the a lot of the time, you know, hip hop people see hear rap and they, they automatically think negative connotations, gangs, guns, um, bad graffiti. Um, I say bad graffiti because there is good graffiti, it's art. Um, same with rap, there's poetry in it. 
um, dance, it's not uh, just completely aggressive, it's a self-expression. And what we have done is created um, workshops on Wednesdays down at St. Paul's United Church. Um, workshop Wednesday, 7 to 9 p.m. If you guys have any youth who want to come out to that, it's only 10 bucks. Kyle and I'll teach each week on and off. And uh, the next on Thursday is completely free, 7 to 9. Um, it's a free practice. So beginning of this year, we've had Turn It Loose and we've had Soul Food jams, two jams which have been really, really, really helpful in building the scene. And now we actually have a couple of youth crews. Yeah, so big round of applause for the youth crews. We got the Floor Masons, and we got Sci Five. Yeah. It's, uh, out of the junior crews, they've created a crew called the Floor Masons Crew, Sci Five Crew, Blue Sandwiches Crew, Always Problems Crew. Um, and they just kind of came, came out of nowhere because they practice with themselves. We leave, and then the next week they're like, hey, we're a crew. Um, I just want to kind of explain a little bit in French about what, what they were doing, and then I'll explain in English. So. Um, les individuels qui vont danser aujourd'hui, tous les choses qu'il a créées, et, et c'est à lui-même ou euh, euh, c'est pas euh, de nous. Euh, les seules choses qu'on a étudiées avec les, les enfants, c'est les techniques qui sont à, à partir de la fondation. Les autres choses, c'est tous les styles individuels. Alors, les choses qu'il a, a, a montré aujourd'hui, euh, c'est vraiment la réaction, c'est vraiment les choses qui sont à la personnalité des de danseurs. OK? So, uh, in English, these guys, they created their own individual style. We taught them the foundation and the techniques, but they created their own uh, personality and characters on top of that. We didn't teach them their characters. So you're going to see their dance styles, and it's their hard work. So make some noise for them. So all you guys, you want to come up here, and we'll get down. One more thing. Um, when you guys see something you like, please don't wait till the end. Make as much noise as possible. All right, that gives the dancers energy, and it, some of these guys are a little nervous. All right, look at them, they're just small. All right, so I'm gonna do a little quick practice round with you guys. Um, on the count of three, I wanna hear as much noise as you guys can make, all right? One, two, three. All right, that's not bad, that's not bad. Uh, Kyle, can I see one quick trick? trick. I'm gonna make a music, and Kyle's gonna do a quick, quick, mu quick little trick, little trick. <laughs> yeah, you guys got it. All right, so if you see Woo! something you like, make some noise. Yo, DJ, kick it.
Oh my god. performer. He's going to sing a song for you and amaze you with his guitar stylings. He is from Petit Rocher. I think that's how you say that. Oh, no. <laughs> Rocher. Petit Rocher. Yeah. Better? Yeah. Close to Bathurst. So he performed in the Bathurst show, which earned him a spot to the semifinals. practicing because it's not just about artists and guitar and singing, it's about practice something that you're not that good and freaking it's basically in English and I'm French. I came from a little place that we don't speak English at all, just a little bit in batters, but I'm not always there. I'm gonna sing a Britney Spears song. So uh, just a Imagine me like I was a pretty blonde girl and <laughs> <laughs> I lose my mind 
So, Maxim, so if you are Britney, can she be Madonna? Because you know where I'm going with this, right? You know where I'm going with this, right? I like these guys. Yay. This is why they call me DJ Nasty Naz. Um, really great vocal presence. Uh, you have a lot of depth in your voice. Um, when you started playing and you said Britney, I'm like, hey, where is he going with this? Because uh, I couldn't figure out which Britney track you were going to play. And then a soon first word, um, both Kyle and I looked at each other and we were like, really? Really? Um, so it threw us off, uh, which was a good thing because it, it wasn't predictable. So it was really, really well done. And I, I mean, I saw you perform for the semis and, and you blew me away then. So I really hope uh, you, know, you take the prize tonight. So good job. Pays to be unpredictable, right, Maxime? Yeah, sure. Basically, um, I'm, I'm, you know why I like what you did tonight? take the chance to um, do a female song instead of a male song. It shows that um, you have a passion of making everybody equal. So that's nice. Awesome for that, man. And um, besides, your English is not too strong, but you brought it up in English. You did it. Every word I understood. Thank you very much. You did a good job. You did a good job. Merci beaucoup. Yeah, really, we are amazed. Like, you sang very well in English. Yeah, That's, that's wonderful. Yeah, I thought it was, thought it was really good, it's très bon, beaucoup de cartes avec la musique, parce que c'est une chanson qui est faite par une femme, et une chanson qui est faite en anglais aussi. So, I thought it was really, really good, because it's, uh, it's a way of showing that he was really confident, because not only is it a, uh, a female singer, but it's a, an English song as well. Uh, if you make it to the finals, I, you know, bust out your French Canadian, you know, Acadien stuff, because that was amazing last in the semifinals, but really well done. Hey, baby, baby, you did good. Thank you very much. Next thing we'll do, if you have your ticket tonight, then you the bottom end of a midnight cigarette. She broke his heart. He spent his whole life trying to forget. We watched him drink his pain away a little light. Drunk enough to get her off his mind until the night he put that bottle to his head and pulled the trigger. Finally, drank away her memory. Life is short, but this time it was bigger. Then the strength he had to get up off his knees. We found him with his face down in the pillow. With a note that said, I love her till I die. And when he drank away his memory, life is from uh, Homer's Odyssey, so as Odysseus was coming back, um, he ran into these, these three women who were, they sang, and they basically sang a spell to him, and the siren, and kind of that mythical folklore, somebody who can, the women who can sing to basically cast a spell over other people, and it's, it, the way that I was hearing you guys, you girls sing up there, it was so hypnotic, and it, it just reminded me of the sirens, and I'm not sure if you've ever seen Old Brother Where Art Thou? But there's a portion in that where they have the sirens as well, and like if you can go and check that out, you'll you'll love it because it's right up your alley. So I thought it was uh, really well done because there was times where you couldn't tell who was singing, but you could definitely tell that both of you were going at the same time. So your harmonics your, were amazing, everything together. That was really really well well done. Thank you.
Hi, I like your hairstyle. Thank you. <laughs> you look so pretty. You know, I could not believe like somebody can sing so smoothly without music, any background music. It was, it was fantabulous. Really wonderful. Thank you. Just said <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Well, basically, um, it seems to me like uh, you guys are becoming more bond since the since the audition. You're becoming more friends. You're working together. You must have spent a lot of time together to sing. So, this is this is well done, well trained, good a cappella. I'm in love with a cappella. I love that kind of team. So, um, it's great. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. You ready for this? Holy crap, this dude is sick. Yeah. And that's, that's all I got. Every single year, I mean, you know, I mean, th this guy is like my brother. Every single time I see him, uh, well, his tan is just a little bit like mine, but um, every time I see this guy, he keeps growing, 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 and he's just amazing. Um, and uh, we had a chance to talk because you're leaving to go to like LA or whatever it is to pursue your amazing talented dreams and uh, it's, uh, Wonderful. I'm really happy that you're, you're going of course but I'm really sad that Freddie Fredericton is, is gonna lose another amazingly talented uh, person but um, I really really wish you well um, you always manage Like this, the fourth, the 
somebody who can play the instrumentals for you that maybe will help with just the overall live performance aspect so instead of having an instrumental that's done through um, mp3 or something like that if you can find somebody in your community who knows how to play the guitar somebody who knows how to
back. You tried your best. You did well. Amazing job. So if you think you want to see Kate make it to the top five, vote for her. Use those tickets. Yeah, I want um, in this one, I wanted to show that I can do a little bit more than just painting. So for my art piece today, it is a sculpture, which is called Racking My Brain. Um, and it is shows the what I feel or what I think when I'm trying to find my inspiration. Whoa. Uh, from there you might not be able to see, but on the brain there are words and it's just different things that I think of to try to inspire myself or things that I do. So for instance, the one says nature, so I like going for walks to try to find inspiration. Uh, there's also words like love and family um, and my daughter's name as well. And for my poem, um, I will be doing it without a paper this time, so if this is the first time, we'll try it. Uh, it's called A New Generation of Artists. How sad, this generation's narrow scope. Their view on importance has been warped. This generation I grew up in, what did we miss? Art, once upon a time was held in high regard. Now a beautiful poem that flows so sweetly and that so eloquently states the feelings of its poet is ignored. Unless of course you drag the words out and place a fast beat tempo in the background. When were the foundations of art forgot? Will they ever know the feeling of paint on their skin? When will my generation stop living in the hypnotic noise of the more well-known? and start choosing their own words, their own colors, to tell you their story. They say they can't, but I tell you they can. How sad that I must stand before you and tell you that you can, as I have had no formal training, nor do you need, for who can train us to express what lies within? Only we, our generation, can create art that expresses our outlook on our world today. No matter who they are, how they are seen by others, or how they view themselves, Every one of them, myself included, has the feelings that make a person an artist. How happy I am to tell you that you are a creation made to create. That you, I, us, together, as a generation, are a new generation of artists, and that is not to be wasted. It took me eight hours of playing with the clay before I actually figured out what I wanted to do and then it took another 42 hours to make it. Uh, no, it was just the clay. Yeah. Um, and uh, your poem, I, I just wanna say like the, as far as like, you hear a lot of people, um, like you're saying with the music and um, what is art these days, so the, the grammar in that, in that poem was very, very well done and anybody who's, you know, took English as a second language or anything like that should just kind of listen to that and, and, and take it in because it was really, really well written. And then the fact that you had it memorized was really...
Thank you, B. Thank you, Bollywood. Was that fantastic? Yeah, girl. Take it away, judges. Hi, girls. How are you? Good. Always you you do well, and you did today also very well. I just not. What's that? So Fredericton, I can't see anything though. Oh, there you go. That's a lovely crowd. <laughs> Alright. Want you guys to kind of put your hands together for us, please. We're here to have a good time. We're here to make some noise. We're here to have fun. We're here to make music. track for the semi-finals and you guys rocked it the last time it was amazing and the vocals were off so you
people who got their certificates, like, please come back next year, try again. Um, be a part of Battle of the Arts in Brunswick. Even if you don't want to compete, just to volunteer, encourage others to be a part of it, it's, it's great. Um, art helps art, and that's what we want to spread. And it's also through the War Child Canada charity, so if you can really, really uh, spread BOTA, we can be able to spread that at the same time. So we're gonna have uh, the guest presentation. I think it's the hip hop guys. Um, if they want to come out here, yeah, yeah.